More than 85,000 fans had turned out to see who would survive the cutthroat final between Collingwood and Fitzroy. The Magpies went into the game slight favourites, although the Lions had comfortably beaten Collingwood in the last home and away game of the season at Victoria Park, which cost the Magpies top spot in the all-important double chance. First, Collingwood seventh. The Magpies opened strongly and led by 21 points at quarter time. In the second term, it was Collingwood's talented forward line that put them further in front. Craig Davis and Ross Brewer standouts in the Pies' six-goal quarter. Bill Pickham was back to his best form, repelling the Lions' attacks time and time again. And Collingwood favourite Ricky Barham was dazzling off his wing, running forward to kick a memorable goal. ...judgment of a player that's played many finals matches and saves for Collingwood. Half-back line, looking for Williams, a good pass, right on Williams' chest. Defensive side of the centre circle, inboard now, looking for Davis. Barham feeding off the pack, a good bounce here. Barham getting away from Taylor, fires to the goal. Oh, great goal, Ricky Barham. An unbelievable goal. At half-time, the Magpies were 38 points up, and during the third term, their lead was as much as 45 points, before the Lions roared back into action to trail by just 14 points at the last change. The last quarter was won right out of the box. Collingwood were 11 points in front and fighting to hang on, while the Lions were hungry for another upset win. Olsen. Oh, it beat the pack. Parrish. Manane. 25 metres out. Which way will it go? Fitzroy kicked by Lee Manane, his second. Gee, he's lifted since he came on. He had a pull, made a couple of mistakes, but he's made up for those. Buries it in the chest of uh, Wilson. And Wilson, a very quiet start, now has become a giant lion. Huge kick to full forward. Quinlan, perhaps. No. Nope. McMahon! He's done it again. They're in front. The Roys are in front by a point. Parrish, or oh, bad mistake, a rainmaker. Will it be play on? Yes, it will. It didn't travel far enough. Menane claims it, but the umpire said play on. It goes to Ray Shaw. Good smother by Parrish. Out to Lewis. Stolen from Pickham. Dummies. McMahon again. 35 metres out. Another one. That's his fourth. Fitzroy, seven points in front. Well chased by Menane. Well done, Lee Menane. Now Davis, though, taking it the wrong way. Still on true centre wing position. Another bounce. Oh, Alexander went for the professional trip. Great effort, Davis. Over half forward towards Kink. But it's Taylor. Now Dacos. Goal! The Woods are alive again. Second goal to Dacos. Dacos, second goal has brought Conning within two points. 80 minutes into this final term. Alexander's lit up like a lighthouse. Drew Parrish, Fitzroy into attack. Rendell, he's got it, got his hand to it. Quinlan grabs it from him. It's an acute angle as he kicks it back. And he's goal. Bernie Quinlan's second goal. He came back from the horrors today. About 35 metres away from goal. Well, the Rock of Gibraltar had to be in two places at once then, and just as well for the Lions he was. Now Michael Taylor, the left foot snap. And it's a mark to Collingwood. Davis, Smith's in position to try and block him off if he does. There he is, Davis runs around, fires. Yes! Third goal to Craig Davis. And again the margin, two points. What a first semi-final. Dropping back is Poynton. Off the pack, Poynton. Lewis, nobody there for Collingwood. Laurie fires, it's a goal! With an eight-point lead and only minutes left in the game, no, Fitzroy not. could have killed off he's Collingwood, but two costly misses left the door open for the Pies, if they were good enough. Play on, the umpire nearly paid it. Davis, support from Tony Shaw. Doesn't need it, down towards Brewer. Serafini wearing him like a glove. Brewer, best to recover, over the top to Dacos. Yes, he's going to Dacos, and Dacos is marked about 40 metres out from goal. Dacos for two goals, ten points the difference. It's a goal, OK. It's four points, and this set of bounds again crucial for both teams. And they'd love him to kick a fourth. 28 minutes into the last quarter of the first semi-final. Fitzroy by half a kick. Here goes Kink. Well tackled. Barham out wide. Past 
Nelson made him stop. Backed up by Ray Shaw. Pass to Brewer. Was it push? Yes, it was. It's Davis. But he can kick the ball very long distances. He's kicked three goals. Big torpedo swinging back. Won't make it. One minute's gone, and Collingwood leading by a point. It's been a 12-goal quarter this quarter. It could go another couple of minutes. Stand towards Williams, tackled by Francis. Smith pounces on the ball. Just imagine how the coaches are feeling right now. Tommy Hafey and Robert Walls. Collingwood 133, Fitzroy 132. A very appreciative crowd at the MCG. There's Hafey. Stand towards Laurie and Shaw. Shaw's got the mobility, Laurie's got the uh, height, picked up by Taylor, Fitzroy going forward into the centre, pick and a half volley, no, he got there in time, and takes the saving mark for Collingwood. Billy Pickin being told to hurry up by umpire Die. that's his sixth mark, going short, oh, it's a, not a safe one, but raving off the Packers Olsen, on towards Barham, Barham a long kick into the pocket, there it is, Collingwood by a point, Collingwood by a point. The final score, Collingwood 19-19, 133. Fitzroy 19-18, 132.